Hello, my name is Andrea. I'm a single mother of these three beautiful kids. This is Lucas, this is Thomas, and this is Sofia. Sofia is 10 years old, about to be 10 years old, right? And Lucas and Tommy are 16 years old. Uh, they are twin, twin brothers. Um, they were born very prematurely at 25 weeks, 16 years ago. They weigh less than one pound and 14 ounces. They are my two little miracles. Um, Lucas and Scott developed normally and didn't have any, any issues despite being in the NICU for four months, fighting for his life. And Tommy was the most fragile twin. Um, he had a interventricular hemorrhage uh, three days after his birth. And that lack of oxygen to his brain caused the brain damage. And as a result of the brain damage, he, he got cerebral palsy. And he is very limited in his capacity. He cannot walk, talk. Uh, so it's a challenge. Every day is a, is a challenge. Uh, I'm on my own because um, their father doesn't support me at all. He stopped paying child support like five years ago. So this is hard, but not impossible. Every day is a, is a new day and I'm very positive and try to do my best. Uh, despite having to, all the daily issues of bathing him and transporting him, uh, one of the key factors right now that it's concerning me and pay my doesn't let me sleep well at night is that in three months my my car lease is ending and I'm really it's really very hard to to put Tommy in the car back and forth. Uh, he comes with us everywhere we go. Uh, he is part of our um, how do you say day to day life. Yes. So we don't leave him here. He comes with us. Now we uh, have a, a soccer tournament for Lucas. So there he goes. He comes with us um, to to the to the game, but it's very it's been very very hard to to put him in the car, to lift him and put him in the car. Um, he is almost a hundred pounds. So I'm gonna show you now how we how I do it basically. Um, so let's let's show you. I have to move my because we live in a townhouse. So I have to first move my car to be able to put him in the car better because uh, the, there is limited space on his side. So I have to do it that way. Vamos, Santi? Did you say hi? Eh? Did you say hi? Hi, did you say hi? Un besito. Pero un besito. Vamos, tutu? Vamos a pasear? No. No quieres pasear? ¿Te gusta, gusta pasear? Vamos a pasear? Sí? No. no. No? Bueno, vamos, vale. Ok. Another thing that it's very important is that um, he had a hip dislocation. So he had a major hip surgery like two years ago. And this manipulation is not good for him. So it would be a blessing to be able to have a car with a ramp. So I don't have to do this. ¿Cómo se dice? Like, no. Uh, when you transport it from one place to the other. Okay, so this manipulation of his body is not good for him. As you can see, he uh, screams every the time I, I push him. Okay, so that's how I have to take him to the car. So the car is right there. So there is limited space for his legs. So have to do this. Oh. So that's how. And then I have to buckle him in. So this is Tommy. Let's say hi, Tommy. So as you can see, there is limited space between his legs and the car seat he is getting heavier and taller by the day. Okay, this is my mom. She was the one that was recording us. Thank you. This is my right 
left and <laughs> Han and she helps me a lot with my daily activities. One, well, yeah, Sofia, Lucas. So both my mom and myself are cancer survivors. Um, she had uh, colon cancer and she's under treatment for that. And I had um, also uh, thyroid cancer. They have to remove my thyroid. And I'm also under under treatment and, and follow up with a with an endocrinologist.